Hello everybody, I am Bones. We are going to be doing No Man's Sky, and this will be a series. Uh, I've got a lot of you that have been like, why haven't you done a series? You should do a series. So we're going to do a series of this. Um, no Man's Sky has certainly had a very rocky history with gamers, hasn't it? Some of you, it's it's very cold out in the winter, so... Now that the spring of time is upon us, I am extra moisturizing my hands, because they got very dry in the friggin' winter. Now, uh, No Man's Sky had a very, but I will say, uh, deservedly rough start because they promised what they didn't deliver. Um, and a lot of gamers were mad. I didn't get this at release. I didn't pre-order it. I swore after Fallout 4, I would never pre-order again. Um, and it was no offense to Fallout 4. It was a good FPS game, but I still do not call it a proper Fallout franchise game in the same way that I think Fallout New Vegas captured everything that was Fallout in my eyes. Uh, and there are some things I do like about Fallout 4, but anyways, different game. So, uh, what has impressed a lot of people about this company is that they have tried to keep updating and updating and updating and correct their screw up and deliver what they promised instead of just taking the money and running. At first it did look like they were going to take the money and run, I'm not going to lie. Um, and as a gamer that pisses me off because, you know, this was $60 for a game and I mean that's, that's not cheap for a lot of people. Um, you know, we live in a world now where bills are higher, everybody's got student loans and all that, so your money's your money, man. So I totally get the frustration gamers had. We're going into this game clean. I played it a while ago. I uh, want to do a new game. I felt like starting over from scratch. I'm kind of, I'm not doing survival mode. Um, some people are going to be like, boo. Look. You want to see me do a survival game? I do a different survival game. There are tons of survival games. But please, no zombies. I'm so sick of zombies. I'm, I'm, I'm done with zombies, man. I grew up in the great uh, 80s, which had tons of cool monster movies, because we got black and white ones thanks to Elvira. Eh? Plus, the 80s had a lot of imagination. So we got great movies like Monster Squad and uh, Gremlins, you know? Give me a gremlin survival game. I would play the shit out of that. Especially if I got to be Gizmo and just kick some ass with a little bow and arrow. Uh, and anyways, so these planets are supposedly random. You'll notice down there I have... <laughs> that is cold as hell. Welcome to Michigan, people. Um, that's what we... Our weather's crazy. We'll have uh, temperature drops to like 40 degrees in one night, and that's typical here now. So basically the story, guys, is that you crash land, um, your ship, uh, you are damaged a little, your ship is damaged, you don't quite know who you are right off the bat. Lady, I am talking. Um, one thing that is interesting is that you can name planets, species, plants, and you see there how it says first contact, that means I'm the first one on that planet. I get to claim that planet name. If I find a solar system, I get to name the solar system and upload it. And if other people ever end up in that solar system, then, um, yeah. Okay, now this thing here, if I remember right, has to do with the main story. Uh, I am going to... Okay. I am going to just let y'all read this. Travers where anomaly detected, position laws, system integrity is been initialized, anomaly is compliant. Well, you must not know me very well if you think I'm totally compliant. But uh this is our janky ship that is all sorts of bejangled. Uh you can name your ship. I don't recall you being able to do that in earlier versions of this. Oh, I have a rocket launcher right off the bat. Hey, hey, hey. My other ship did not have that, and I have a photon cannon. Um, anyways, so it's important to get these things up. I need to make, alright, sheets, which are just iron. 
Um, you have three inventories, really. You have your multi-tool, your starship, and your exosuit, which you, you do not forget about this. Now, one thing that I do like that they've done over time is upgraded so you can carry technology in its own slots, which is great. And then cargo, like precious, super valuable cargo that you've been looking for, can go in its own and not mess with their main slots. Multi-tool... It's kind of a gamble, at least it was back then. Um, I don't want to call it exper I like to personalize all my stuff, man. So we're going to name my multi-tool. Lorangelo. Since it's orange, guys. Don't overthink it. Uh, what do we name my ship here? It's, uh... I don't know yet. But wait on it. So I can't scan anything. You have a scanner only. I can't scan anything yet because I need to get more stuff going on here. I need a multi pass or atlas pass in this game. Um, now you can fix damaged components and then you can open this. Originally, that wasn't like that. So that's new. Um, so you collect shit to do other shit. To build shit and do other shit. This here is silly to me. I don't know why they did it this way, but you can just hold on this little mouse button, yank all that dazzle, and get some stuff out. And the geck are these kind of adorably weird. Uh, I feel like they look like turtles. We 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 had a few debates on this though, whether they're turtles or something else. Um, but I think they look like turtles anyway. To me, they look like turtles. So right now, what I'm doing, guys, is mining. Um, I actually did not even bother to look at my multi-tool. I need a scanner to work, and I need... Okay, so my analysis visor works. Now, I'm pretty sure I hold down F, I do. And this means that everything I scan gets put in here. And log, catalog, I can look it up, and it will tell me information at all. Those effing things. There are things on the planet called sentinels. They're pains in my ass. I do not like them. Most things that are carbon are where you get carbon. Carbon-based life forms, like us, you can get carbon from. Um, other things are rare plants. And you get a little dollar dollar bill when you have discoveries. You get more dollar dollar bill when you upload them to the central database. Um, one interesting thing about uploading them to the central database is that, again, I'm going to die. Um, listen to that thing. It sounds like Tina Turner. Uh, no, it does not at all. Tina Turner is better singer. I don't know what the heck that thing is. I gotta calm it down, guys. Let's not, uh, let's not try to kill me. Information process of bones, primary element. Okay, so I. Some different stuff here going on, and I remember, I need carbon, and carbon I will get from these trees here. Um, we are carbon-based life forms, actually, so I suppose if there were humans in this, I could just, you know, snipe them and get carbon. Um, you have different languages for different aliens as well, and those also come into play, guys, so... There are some interesting things with this. Um, I got this as a birthday gift, actually. So I am not salty about what they did or did not include. But as a gamer for ages, I have to stand in solidarity with my fellow gamers that, look, if you're a company and you promise somebody something, deliver that shit. Don't be an asshole. Um, so I am happy that at least they're starting to do that. Now C you can press, and you'll see it's showing me different elements around here and what they are. I don't know. Did I scan you? Because you, you look slightly unconcerned who's temperament is. I like that he's like, eh, fuck him. Um, now we have a big discussion we've had here in our studio lately about doing some age-restricted titles um, and doing them and, and uh, one of the biggest uh, and I'm not surprised about it but one of the biggest ones that gets talked about is Haiti 
if you've seen me play Haiti, you know why that's one that people have uh, asked us about, you know, doing a, shall we say, aid-restricted playthrough, because Haiti can be nude. Did I find a base over there? I already found a freaking base over there, y'all. Look at that. So that is a trading post not far from where I crashed, so this planet is going to yield me some rewards. Um, first things first, that mining beam of mine is not going to last forever. Uh, he does need energy. I need to make tyrite sheets. I'll worry about my inventory in a minute. Not the boss of me. I am the boss of the, the me. I also need to get my ass in that ship. Oh, I got copper too. I don't know what I'm going to do with that copper. If you're wondering why the hell I'm zapping the shit out of plutonium, it's because it is very valuable. Alright, alright, alright. Let's call ass. That rah, 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 noise you hear in the background is bad news. It's that little son of a bitch touches up to me because that uh, is going to get me with my titties out and I don't want that, guys. That is a sentinel. Different. Think of them as like uh, robotic planet police. And they have their own story, from what I understand. They didn't the last time I played this, but I'm told that now uh, the developers explain what they are. Oh, shit. My, uh, my shields. I'm not great. Oh, ow. That hurt my ass. Alright. Well, first things first. Look at all this, man. Oh, God. Now, I know that symbol. That symbol means there's an animal coming to bum rush my ass, so. There is clearly an encrusted species. There he was. Did you see him, guys? Try to get me with the old oopaloop. loop. Now, Atlas, I remember, is like the god of the galaxy here, if I remember right. Uh, sorry that's spoiling anything, guys, um, but I'm not going to say anything else about it. I don't even know the full story here. Alright, so we're trying to repair our starship system. Self-guided repair protocols. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know, man. Um, I need two, so I need four. All in all, so I need five chirite sheets. So let's get to what we're making now. E lets me craft a product. I wonder if these stack. Does anybody know if these stack? Can I get these to stack? I don't know. Shit. Alright. I thought it was right there. Okay. It's night already. That's, that's cute. Um. Now what is this full of? Guys. I really hate to dump that. Life support can use. Alright. Uh, great. And this one can use a shielding chart, but it's alright. I don't know what the hell that lady was complaining about. Um, Starship, so... This is my launch thruster. Let's me go boom, boom, boom. This one lets me travel, so I need iridium on this planet and zinc. Uh... Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Oh, moving stack. So yes, I can indeed stack these. Fabulous. Alright, so that's good. I, I got a bunch of these, so what am I going to call this? We will start by calling this, uh, Sky Salamander. I don't feel like it's cool enough to have a name like my, uh, Red Dragon, which was what I named my old ship back when I played this a bit. Uh, I... I I'm not the only person who's played this around our studio. Somebody else played this and got a little farther than me by far. And told me that, yes, I should give this a shot on the channel. And I said yes, but then we're going to have to do a whole, like, series. Because this is quite a big game. And they were like, well, people don't think so. And I'm like, I don't really care. No one said that. I was just being funny. Uh, but no, I, um... I wanted to do this one just because I want to put it to the test and see if, in fact, this is as bad uh, when it comes down to being empty, as people say, or if it's a bunch of hoopla and there's more going on here and if we can't find anything charming enough about this game. Now, problem one here. My mining beam needs help. We need carbon to charge it. 
Oh god, the starship. The starship needs fuel. Needs fuel here. Plutonium. I wisely assumed the plutonium. I had a feeling that's what I needed. I do not like that uh, that one creature. Where are you, you little shit? I don't even know what this life form is. It's like ducking out kind of all sneaky beaky on me, but I will whoop its ass if I that. I call that thing punk bitchicus, because I'm gonna mess it up. Yeah, I, yeah. This thing sneaks up and does like a sucker punch on me. You guys saw it. You witnessed it. Oh god, no, leave that on. That keeps the creepies away, maybe. I don't know for sure, but it's. It seems like it would. Alright, so I need to find Heridium. I think that's what that little thing was. Zinc, Zinc. Zinc is the end, that I do remember. So let's go find Zinc. Um, I need this. Give me this. Zinc you pick like a flower. That's not a metaphor, that's that's just what it is, guys. I don't know what the hell Fe is. What is Fe? What do I do with that? I don't know. Oh, whoa, okay. I think I, I see her on that big ass, uh, hello, little thing. That thing right there, I think, is ready. We're gonna go see, because I feel like there are two elements right next to each other. I also need to double check and see what the holy hell I'm doing here, because I, I really don't know. A bypass chip. You can make some neat stuff at the start of this, I think. Um, but we're gonna ditch these shielding shards, because frankly, Dude, I don't know. Maybe that was the wise of choices. But, you know. You gotta stick with your choice sometimes, people. I don't know who I'm trying to convince, you or me. Me, definitely me. Um, no, so. And we, you know, I also want to thank. There have been some pretty cool devs lately I've been talking to. Um. Some great. Uh, we're waiting on the idea of a playthrough from one or two of them. We'll see where we end up with the guys. We don't know yet. Um, but I will say that, you know, we always appreciate at least the banter back and forth between us and devs, even if they decide not to, not to, uh, not to go with us as far as letting us uh, do a let's play of a game. But we do like to do Let's Plays of people's games, so... If you are a dev and you would like your game featured, we'd certainly, you know, just drop us a line. We'd certainly love to feature it. We'll play it to the best of our ability. Um, usually, especially if you're an up-and-coming developer, we try to uh, do a little practice so we get, you know, a little knowledge about your game before we do a Let's Play. I don't like doing them, and I've seen a lot of people who do them and will crash a game left and right, but they don't, they didn't even bother to learn anything about the game. They didn't bother to learn the game. To me, that's disconcerting because it's not really true, you know, it's not true to you guys either. What they're telling you isn't what's, what is, you know. We're definitely going over there. See, there, there's a little base. Um, I am a sucker for Elder Scrolls games just because I like to explore. So for this one, we oh god, almost fell. Is there no just iridium closer than that? No, I don't think so. You're a sink though, don't you? Oh man, watching your little ass. What you trying to razzle dazzle me, son? I'll give you the old razzle dazzle. I razzle dazzle your ass. With the full dazzle and the razzle. You won't even know. It'll be a Army of just Razzo and Dazzle. Throwing an alley you and a slap with Dizzle. I don't know what the fuck that means, and it sounded. No, it didn't sound tough, it sounded dumb. Alright, so here we go. Exploring in the galaxy. And if you're somebody who has not felt that uh, this game is worth your time or energy, I respect that. Like I said, it had a rough start, and they kind of, I mean, the devs kind of had to eat a little crow here, man. They, they, from everything I read, and I, I, I was intently watching this game because I was a huge fan of a, another game called Noctis, um, which was a great, imaginative, 
beautifully charming uh, randomly generated space exploration game which this toted that it would be like. Um, it said it was going to be multiplayer, Stephen Colbert asked. Uh, well, one of the guys named Sean Murray asked him all this stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. And then lied, 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 lied to everybody's face. So, I mean, I can't, uh, you know, I can't fault gamers, man. Um, but I will give credit where credit is due as well. And if a company is willing to do what this company did, and keep pumping out updates, and keep fixing things, and doing it, the shit they should have done, instead of running with the money and doing nothing, then as gamers, I think we have to recognize that and applaud it to promote more of that. Um, I can't be the only one thinking like this, guys. This has got to be a concerted effort, because on one end, it helps those game. well, it helps us, you know, for one thing. The gamers, whether you're a casual gamer, I don't even care if you're just a Facebook gamer. You know, you're a Facebook gamer, and suddenly Farm Bill's like, "Oh, we're gonna have this, but you gotta pay for it." And they don't. That's shitty. That's a shitty thing they did to you. And you shouldn't let that bullshit go. Don't. Definitely don't. Call them on that shit. Everybody's got a damn right to get what they are promised as far as a, a game situation goes. So call them on that shit, people. Don't pitch out on it. Call them on it. I like to carry carbon with me and a charm. Uh, I don't know how the gecks are now. Anyways, let's talk about the races in this little, shall we? You have three main... Uh, I call the one the Daft Punks. They look like them. There's this really wicked looking robot race that I enjoy. Um, the Kovacs, Korvacs, I believe. I like how I'm like, let's talk about them, then I, oh shit, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, whoa, no shit. Okay, I fell right on my nuts. Um, there's another one that is considered a, um, warlike race. The Grog? Grog? Growl? Okay, I haven't, I haven't played this in a while, so you know what? We're, we're, we're gonna see how we see Um, actually, they probably say it in here somewhere, so you know what? Maybe hold uh Yes. And Yahtzee, baby. And I threw away all my iron, which I need. Yay! Alright. Um, one thing I do have a small bitch with myself on this is the way this works. Uh, oh, I discovered this ages ago. Um, or did I just now? Does it say where, when I discovered this galaxy? I don't know. But uh, I'll tell you one thing. Let's rename it. Let's rename it, guys. This whole galaxy is going to be called Bones and Gary. <laughs> uh, can't take that shit back now, can you? Um, what do we call this planet? How about, uh... Michigan Winter. <laughs> yeah! For abundant on a regular uh, journey, discoveries, there's all this stuff. Okay, here they are. The Gek, uh, the Vicreen, and the Corvax. The Corvax are uh, like, uh, mechanical. They look like members of Daft Punk. I really like them. Uh, I've always been kind of crazy about them. Now, I do like here, um, now I saw this last time. I really didn't pay enough attention to this, I don't think. Yeah, the Sentinels are the police force, and they are assholes, I think. Um, portals, I didn't quite understand. But I did not spend enough time with them. Like I said, it was somebody else in the studio got pretty into this, even though this was like a birthday gift for me. We had one of our other people that played this a lot. And you can see I just made money there just from simply uploading my discoveries. So keep on that grind, people. Keep on the discoveries. Also, I recommend highly getting a one of these here, your bolt caster, as fast as you can in this game. 
it is basically a stronger beam based weapon. Um, every multi tool of yours, I don't give a shit what else you do, needs to have one of those. And if you don't, get that shit you need it. Oh, I forgot. There's a little mining trick too, I'll show you. And then watch that go up. As soon as it starts to go up, release. Back up again, and you don't gotta wait as long for it to, uh, uh, to do that. It won't. I know, shut up. Alright, so there we go. Now I just need a little, little taste of this, as you would see in The Godfather. A little taste. Uh, I don't like the way this one's set up. This is kind of like a chump thing right here, man. Um, but it is my first. So, I, I'm not expecting the world out of this puppy. Um, now, I am not leaving the planet right away. It wants me to leave the planet right away, but what do you say we take a little cruise, guys, on our ship? Um, now, you can see there, if I hit C, one thing that I can do, too, is I can see local. Oh, God. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit, I forgot this headset. Okay, okay. Yeah, I would like to complain about one other thing, if you don't mind, guys. Um, I'm not a fan. Uh, they updated the, the flight system, but I do not like what they did there. To me, they made it a little weirder. It feels sluggish. I don't like that. They made it like mouse-based, which I get what they were going for, but no, don't don't fuck with that. So um, Now, you get a bonus, by the way, if you do like a Pokemon catch them all and discover all the species on a planet. Um, I don't know if we'll ever be back here after this on this one, because this planet is a pain in my ass, and it's very cold, and I don't like that shit. So maybe we'll try to discover some. And like I said, this is going to be a series. Um, please drop me a comment on this, and let me know if you guys like this series. If you guys don't, I'll just throw this up as a one-off, and we won't do another on this one. I will be playing this, personally. Um, because I want to see how I do with this. Um, these little things here run up. E at save. Now, I will say, even from the first time I played this, uh, things feel a little fuller here on the planets. So there aren't these giant expanses of just nothingness. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See that? It's a weird looking dude right here. Right here, right here. Him. Yes, so he is one of the Vicrine. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. Somebody's already. I know there's. It's always like a nerd. Go find someone or two. Oh, yeah, yeah. So your Starship 2 has little little slots. And you can uh, learn new technology. I think they're blueprints. Um, I want to say I bought them at space stations, the blueprints. So uh, I also don't know what the hell I'm doing right now, per se. We're just kind of... Why did I say that? I hate it when other people say that, and then I just said it. Uh, your boys are goofy today, guys. Why did I just see your boy? No. Not that cool. Alright. Sometimes you'll find neat little things around here. Let's talk to Mr. Man. Now, as you can see here, I know none of his language. That's what I was going to do. I was going to fix that flight thing. We'll do that in a minute. The warrior was not so flare as I approach, and he'll deeply embark up what could be a warning. I hurriedly mind that I'm peaceful and a little of their kinder language. It takes up a second to think, then grab my multi tool, barking gun into my visor, speaking it with saliva. Thank you. Uh, I think. I don't remember which one they like the best. We're gonna try giving them a. Yes. So he does that. So now I've learned some words. I feel like interloper is one of the first words they teach you always. Anyways, if you're cool with them, they're cool with you kind of thing here. Um, I feel like that's a good constant in the galaxy. So he will teach me things. Um, let's go to options here, shall we? Controls. Yes, please. You gotta hold down the mouse button, too. I wish that was not so as well. Um... Lots of stuff you can do here. I did not know I had a horn. I do not know I had a horn. Oh, right, right, yeah, because there's an exocraft, too. So there's a, like, a planet rover. 
Um, so they have made some definite improvements since this game first started from what I understand. Now I'd be interested to talk to somebody who originally knew this. Uh, flight controls tethered, look move controls normal, flight controls locked, flight controls tethered inverted, locked inverted. Uh, I don't know, dude, what that means. I, I think I'm just going to go with the lock. Are you sure on? Yes, why not? I'm not worried about inappropriate shit. I mean, the worst, it's going to be a naughty word. Who cares? Oh, I forgot. I tried to cut some time here for you guys and set this up a little earlier. Uh... Alright, so 1702, 721. Obviously, it's not this one, 1702. Is this this one? Alright, so I'm not as dumb as I thought I was. And there, it's probably not, yeah, it's off planet. Those are runes, they teach you more of the language. So, there's a language system in this, there's a bartering system in this. Um, you can piss these guys off as well, so try not to, don't piss them off. So see, you can see there, I know one of the words. Um... I like to ask for directions, or not ask for directions, I request help with languages whenever I can in this game. I used to. Um, we are going to be on a mission here to try and do a lot of that when possible. Now, like I said, if you guys like this one and you guys want to see more of this one, then I will do that. Oh god, I forgot how much. Uh, man, these, these, these things here, they, they take a bit, don't they? I feel like the cost here for my launch thrusters is a bit extensive. Certainly a bit out of line, I think. I don't think it should cost me that much. We're going to slow down here. We're going to slow down here. I would like to report for one thing that the flying is a bit smooth. And we're going to go here and see if any of these right feet are in here. If there's anything I can salvage. There are nanites. Why do nanites take up my inventory now? What the hell is that? Oh, God. I don't want to get rid of. What? This is a stupid ass idea, but we're going to get rid of. Uh... Nanites are important because nanites are the monies. And now we're going to go to cargo. Right, I see what I did there. Move. Now we're just gonna put them. Can I just not do that? Come on, maybe. Whatever. Alright. If I can do that and I just didn't know how to do that, then do let me know. Anyways, you want to save as much as you can in this too, because all these little waypoints you play, and you can also rename these. You can rename these too, not just animals. You get to rename these and upload them uh, on your discovery. And if you don't, then somebody lands on one of your planets and they upload it first, then they get the credit for it. Not only do they get the credit for it, but they get to name it. So, name your own shit, man. Because uh, now this what helps to teach me the language of the peoples. So always use these when you can. I am dying laughing that that is called Michigan Winter. It's pretty funny to me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just because we have had an absurd, absurd winter. Um, and it's spring now, and it's still crazy here in Michigan, so. Now there's a little mechanical thing, I'm not even fucking with it, I'll be frank. I think we're gonna go right to a space station so we can take a look at one, see what's changed, see what's the same. Good. Um, there are a lot of mods for this game, by the way. This is a moddable game. Um, everything from, like, for example, different HUDs. 
I want to see there is a no. There is a way I thought. Maybe I hold control. What do I hold here? Is this, oh, yes, so you can look around your actual attack a bit here. Um, originally that was a mod somebody had done one like that. So is it hard to leave the planet? Not really. You just kind of point up and head this way. And uh, well, uh, uh, and I will give them credit for this. This is <laughs> we've done it, people. We finally made it. We have a system to get for us. I do like to do a little mining, and I'll tell you why. It's because for iron, which is used for tons of different shit, you can find that cheap. You can also find a lot of cheap. Uh, I can't even remember the name of it. Barium, I believe. Um, another cool thing here is that these space stations generally are not too hard to land at. Now if you hold um, S and D at the same time, boom! Um, and you don't have to be perfect on this landing either, guys. This is not, uh, we'll say, another fight game. That does that fancy schmancy shit for you. Automatically you land we're just going to take a quick look here. It'll park my ship for me. Every time you enter a leadership, it saves the game for you, which is nice. In case uh, you have crashes. Um, I was actually going to do another game tonight. But I've tried four friggin' times to do a let's play of it. And four times, the damn game has crashed on me. So I ain't trying that anymore. You'll notice there... Okay, I try and get ready to beacon, but that can wait. So obviously there is a main story to this game now. This game is no longer just a game without a main story. But, there he is, there he is. These are one of the little geck dudes. I like them. It's like a weird mix of a lizard and a bird. Uh, with a little bit of dog in there. I got him up. Uh, we will hand over the multi-tool, because sometimes they'll gift us better ones. Like, look at that one. That's 15 slots, guys, so we will definitely... Oh, are you, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Um, now, if I remember, I found a downside as I got to fix the weapon slots here. I don't want a terrain manipulator. People think I'm crazy for saying that. I just don't. Um... Uh, I ain't got the units for this crap. I have to worry about the units after. What am I doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing. Dumb things. So, I am going to repair this one. And the reason is because I want to create an analysis visor there and the scanner there. Um, down the road I will put stuff for this here, but this will be my little bolt caster. I only need some plutonium and my beam intensity, although beam coolant would be better. Um, people are going to yell at me for even doing what I just did, but look man, I'm crazy, what can you do? No, I can't. I can't do that. Oh. So he had something shady he wanted to trade with me, and I did a dumbass thing. Good on me. Uh, I believe I have copper, something I can sell. So let's try selling that. We can also buy from the Galactic Network, but I have some stuff here that I can sell. So oh, look at copper. All right, babies, We're selling that and getting some money. Not a ton, but hey, I'll take it. Uh, that's all we have. Uh, I could sell that Gek Charm as well, but I like the Gek, so I'm going to try and use that Gek Charm on a Gek. Can I talk to you, little dude? Oh, hi there. Uh, 
apologize if I can able to help. I, can't, I love this. I can't help notice that they smell amazing. We're not going to pat them on the friggin' head. And my standing with the Gek has increased, and they give me some nanites, so that's pretty cool. Now, uh, the weird ass lizard man here. Okay, yeah, so this is like these space stations have shops where you get new technology. Uh, I have 13 clusters. Now, my current rank, which is neutral, they would offer me this. And as you can see, you got a lot of different weapons. Uh, I don't recall there being this many weapons. In coolant system. Da, 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 so now we know. I will say one thing that really tripped me out, by the way. I think, what was it, X? Was X. X. Uh, X and then Q. Okay. So you can summon your ship to a match. I remember reading was cool. That you could summon your ship from anywhere for a little bit of ship energy. Very nice, because that was one thing that used to drive me nuts and be a thing I pitched about with this game. Um, anyway, guys, so this is us right now. We're just getting a little start. Uh, I might spend a little time in between this just getting up another planet. Uh, but for now, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do shit without running it by y'all. And instead, you guys... So you can even buy other ships. For now, we're going to see if they're a little sky sailor until we can make some Uvada. Uh, mining, trading, maybe, I don't know. Oh, he is busted up looking. Look at that. Uh, let's see what the starship is. You can buy almost any single ship, and there are classes of ships as well, guys, so. Um, but I'm sure whatever he wants for the ship, I can't afford. We'll try to negotiate a price here. Yeah. I don't have that. Um. Actually, his starship, he wants a lot for one that only has a few more slots in me. Uh, that's a big puppy right there. I'm one of those people that in real life, I think I would go for like the giant, uh, like, like the, the, okay, that's a shuttle. I know shuttles are alright, um, haulers are one of the best. If I remember right, and I'm just for curiosity, sake. holy schnauzies, so that's two million. Um, I like that this is telling me this, like I have any chance of trying to get that ship. Thank you game, but I think you, you believe in me much more than I do. Um, you can actually find ships too, guys, uh, in this when you go on planets, so, um, we're gonna call this uh, an evening for now on this. Let me know what you guys think. Should this be a series? Yes or no? If you guys say yes, I'll keep No Man's Sky going. If not, this will be a one-off. Let me know. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Throw up a like. Put in the comments yay or nay on the making this a series. Uh, and just your thoughts on this game and its current state. Have they turned it around? Um, how much farther do they have to go before you will be happy? Obviously, multiplayer, we don't even need to say. That's got to be in here. They were promised multiplayer, we should get multiplayer. So that's a given. But what other things would make you all happier for this game? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Bones. Thanks a lot for watching this. Other great ships coming here that I can't afford. Um, which is the tragedy of being a Core Space Miner. That's a fighter jet right there, I believe. Fighter. I think it's a scout fighter class. Uh, but no, as you can see, oh, that's a Class A too. Class A is one of the best classes you can get next to a Class S, I believe, which is the best of the best. So, yeah. Anyways, so, uh, yes, I'm out. Thank you guys very much for uh, checking checking the game out. You guys have a great night.